that the hash rate is on the, on the highest, right? And they say that, oh, that means that POW, you know, is the greatest thing on the high eye. You know, do they first understand how the hash rate is actually being calculated? The hash rate that they see on the website is actually just the estimated hash rates of all the miners that are on the network, right? So the thing is that if we just look at hash rate itself, originally it was used to just define the machines. Mm. How, if you say your mining rig, your computer at home, how many, what is its hash rate, right? Mm. Or your graphic, uh, your GPU, your graphics card, how, what is its hash rate? Mm -hmm. People are just comparing the hash rate previously for mining, but now that the ASIC has come out, right, you can do a lot more hashes yeah. compared to uh, using the same amount of electricity, right? Compared to actually using a, a, a GPU, GPU. Yeah. And, yeah, mm -hmm. and you can do a lot more in a more mm -hmm. more more uh, constricted space, right? Mm -hmm. So, because of that, so think about it. Like previously, when the the machines first came out, the AC machines first came out, they were very expensive per unit. For you to get one million hash rates spec machine, right? You need to pay maybe thousands of dollars. But now it has gone down, right? Now it's gone down. So the N miners now, the new miners have gone up to five five hundred dollars. So or seven hundred dollars so but they're still achieving that same amount of hash rate so it just means that the technology to achieve that amount of hash rate will become cheaper right so if people are upgrading from gpus to async miners then obviously the total hash rate on the network will increase mm -hmm. because technology is increased just like when you people upgrade to the iphone 10 then of course they expect a better camera for maybe the same price right the previous iphones mm -hmm. right so so same thing so this is just a trend of technology increasing. If you look at the graphs that they show, it's just showing basically the, the hash rate increasing just means that technology has improved so much that that right now uh, miners are able to afford machines that are more efficient and invest less for, for the same amount of hash rate. So maybe over here, hash rate is actually at 50,000, right? Now, which hash rate is like what? 80,000 so maybe there's an improvement in the in the machines that the miners actually use and very much possibly so because uh, you know people who are using GPUs and home computers they are outclassed so they they, they they no longer use it but if you have a lot of mi big mining operations they want to you know to have this arms race against other mining pools so they, they just you know buy more miners they buy more miners they buy more miners uh, and as they buy more miners, we come, we come back to the thing, right? Which is like, what is the relationship between the hash rate minus profits and difficulty? Mm -hmm. So the thing is that, it, the reason is very simple, right? The Bitcoin network tries to make this dif difficulty such that you have to, previously in the past, you don't have to mine so much. You really have such a high hash rate to get a block. But now you need a lot of high hash rate to actually get a high probability of getting the block. But as more people actually add machines into the network, right, the difficulty actually increases also. So, so if it's like it's like an arms race, why is it an arms race? So, if you don't upgrade to a more powerful mining machine with a higher hash rate, but all the other people in other countries, they actually upgrade. What happens to that? When the difficulty actually increases, you lose the game, because the difficulty will increase when the network detects that oh, there's actually more people hashing right now, so it will make it more difficult mm. to actually reach yeah. that, that answer mm -hmm. so you need even more powerful computers so it's an endless arms race learning like nuclear weapons nobody actually know how much a powerful nuclear weapon you need so they keep on building bigger and bigger warheads <laughs> just to keep yeah. each other yeah. on top mm -hmm. of each other just mm -hmm. to make sure that they, they can win the, the next block mm -hmm. right so yeah it's, it's it's very possible people are just you know having a higher hash rate just to 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 actually compete to make themselves still be relevant and, and getting uh, the, the rewards and if you talk about you know the the profits yeah uh, minus profits so miners have to think have to balance all these things have to think about how much hardware they actually want to invest and how long this hardware can last before they can they actually need to throw them away and buy a new version of the ASIC miner that is actually much more efficient uses 50% mm -hmm. maybe maybe like 50% less electricity for the same amount of hash rate mm -hmm. And that means that they can actually run more of this, right, while still being profitable. So you can get a higher, higher amount of hash rates, but it doesn't mean that miners are more profitable. 